Alright, time to scrap the shit out of everything. I'm gonna try to store anything that can be stored. Because shit uses shit. Worst case scenario, I shred it later. Oh, nothing for that. I don't think furniture is going to come up on the list of shit that I need for crafting, but maybe it will. That's a lot of resources. Not exactly in line with what I'm going for with the difficulty, getting all this extra free shit, but I'm thinking I'm probably going to need it. Magic hanging light. And there are raiders over there. Like across the bridge, I think you get hit right by that statue there. Yeah, I see him. Oh, if I can see them, they can see me. Ooh, did you see that destroy lock with explosives thing? Sweet. Um, okay. Some recipe. Oh, 
I think the architect is uh, for the Sim City thing, or Sim Settlements as it is. Uh, where you set those things, people will, your NPCs will try to build it. Kind of neat. At some point here, a rad roach is going to slap me in the face because I don't remember where the hell they are. I know there's, I want to say two batches of them somewhere in the town. I just don't remember where. I'm sure I'll find out the hard way. Get killed by rad roaches before I can even get this thing down. The build mode. Love how much better it looks without all the clutter. Oh yeah, I forgot about this.
don't think there's actually any enemies, right? I won't be able to pick this. Hmm. Okay, guess not. I was thinking this might be the house. Or one of the houses. Apparently, I thought wrong way. Whoops.
Are those flies flying around the dead fly? Fuck me. If I only had a bobby pin. Fuck! Man, I just mindlessly scrap things. I think this house is a rad road child.
I'll keep saying that to every house and eventually I'll be right. This one I'm extra wrong because this is my house. But the neighbor's house. Crap. feel paranoid on the edge, like something's just waiting for me out there. I don't think you get attacks and stuff until later, like after you have a settlement with the, uh, what are they called, uh, people. 
people. Even if it is the right house, I don't think they come out until you activate them by getting close enough. Yeah, guess it's the wrong house again. But it is that next one. Oh, it actually is. Didn't mean to get rid of that foundation. Oh well. The fuck is that black smoke? Is the lost monster after me? Working man. <clears throat> oh, I think the other one's the house with the shop. Not shop, but workshop. The one with all the stuff. Trying to do the foundations and shit last, because chances are you lose some stuff. Oh, half assed, huh? It's like I got distracted and walked away from it. I think I've saved enough furniture that I'm never going to use. Huh, that's weird.
You know, Codsworth had 200, 210 years to clean all this shit up. Shitty butler. Fuck, I wanted that screwdriver, didn't I? Pretty sure that the tools are the specific thing that I'm supposed to not be scrapping. And there's always more screwdrivers out there, right? I don't think you can actually craft one, though. Well, maybe with the mods in this you can. Maybe not. A little dark out here. Oh man, I just thought I had a bug run across my feet. It's my cat. Who is now laying down on my foot. She's a weirdo. Just had to make sure. I think I know where the last set of roaches is, but I'm not sure. In fact, I'm not even sure there's only one more set. It's been quite a while since I did this, when survival mode first came out. Ah, oh, shit, I broke my thing. No bobby pins. getting there slowly but surely I'm 
This is not the right house. Actually, I might not go with the starting house that I usually go with. I might actually build a house for once. Make something pretty, something livable. Usually I just kind of slap together something big that I can throw a shitload of beds in, but maybe I'll actually uh, go for design this time. Maybe I won't. I probably won't. The inspiration already left me. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. Well, at least it wasn't rare materials or anything. So, where would I want these to be built? Outskirts, since it's the small houses. So now when I have people, they should come and build little houses over there. Which will be cool. Start getting my shit over here away from that bridge. I already saw there's raiders hanging out there waiting for me. Test my memory. Looks like I fail yet again. So it has to be that other house. Nowhere else, right? Neat.
Need to assign someone to this. That was a close one. See what that's all about. Only one EXP. So that's a bone fertilizer and fruit, right? I don't know if I have any bones. Looks like no. Ah, oh, shit. Gotta be careful over here. Don't wander too far. 
don't think I'm gonna go get all that crap in the river because uh, I don't want to get shot doing it. Ha! It's fucking dark. Is that it? Like that, I caught it while it was falling. It's hard to do when you can barely see shit. Don't want to go that way. I think I'm pretty much done. Except for the shit I can't get to. I'm sure some random hedges I missed. the little fucker.
and I'm just going to hang back here. I'll get that other shit later after those raiders are dead. Just trying to move it, not use it. Oh yeah, there's other plants over there that I should drag over. Grab random shit that I missed while I'm on the way. Seems like there's still quite a bit of it. The only thing I didn't scrap is that one foundation, which I will keep and build off. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, scrap that idea. Just build on this nice clean ground I made. too close to that river. Well, over this far away, it shouldn't be a problem. I don't think bugs are on the list of things that are uh, deadlyified by the Deadly Commonwealth mod. So the only thing I've really encountered so far is just regular shit with the uh, Horizon buffs. They definitely hit harder and because of how little ammo I have I didn't want to shoot them. So, you know, I'm assuming the Raiders are going to be a real pain in the dick when I get to them. Alright, build myself a basic house, and a bed, and yeah, make home base. Hmm, packing material. It's a new one to me. So the question is, do I get more EXP for the beds that you steal? Nope, because it was one. Uh, I don't have all the building snap together mods. 
fact, I don't have any building mods except scrap everything. And the sim one that makes them build themselves, of course. Let's limit 20 or 25. Maybe it's even 30. I'll do 25. Nice generator up. <laughs> Nuclear generator. And I want to save gears if I can because they're good for robots. This uses a lot of gears. This uses fuel, which I don't have a lot of. Now well, let's go with this. I'm going green. Oh shit. Crystal. Nothing I did had crystal, apparently. Well, fuck. Junk mortar. These all sound like uh, stuff from that new thing. Yeah, along with anything in these sections. Alright, set up some turret. Uh oh. Okay, so the only turret I get set up is a spotlight. Nice. It won't reach, will it? That's alright, I'll build something between. Check out all the new prefabs. so big I can't look at what it actually looks like. Make a city of trains. Why does that have that symbol? Huh.
job stations. Yeah, the Horizon mod also gives you jobs for your citizens. I probably want to work on uh, other things first, though, considering I don't even have people. Cargo bots uh, sound cool. They help you carry shit and deliver stuff back to town on your behalf. Well, I suppose I'll build one of these. I can now get mail. Damn, need to find filters to get purified water. The water that comes out of this is not purified with this mod on, or with the extra difficulty mod. The default difficulty, you still can get water from these, but you need a filter for advanced mode. And I happen to be on the advanced mode. Where do I put that spotlight? If only I could see it. There it is. I don't remember these using gears. I remember slapping down a shitload of them. Shit. Huh. Interesting. So to get stuff, either need a a vendor for outside or a vendor for inside. Basically, it looks like. Now 
this is what I was really interested in when I was reading it on the website. The tech lab lets you build turrets and robots and shit. There's all my other crafting stations over here. Ah, ammo crafting. Let me double check that normal weapons workbench is different. Yeah, looks like it is. Custom properties. They're cheap, why not? Oh, that's pretty cool. Didn't mean to make one, though. Not yet, anyways. Ah, right. Those are a thing. No, don't want to use my adhesives. Okay, so I can afford to make this stuff, I just don't have uh, the rank or the recipe. So you don't have to just get ranks and stuff, you gotta pick up recipes too. Too bad, because I could use some goddamn, uh, whatchamacallit, ammo. Ah, <laughs> neat. Ooh, I want. You know, I don't think I've ever really used vans. Oh, reusable. I need a lot of shit for it, but it sounds pretty dope. Titanium Alloy, Grade 1. That's a new one to me. Wonder what a Microtron is. Like a mini assault bot? I can't recall ever seeing a Microtron in game. Um, 
Oh, so you can carry them from town to town. Cool. I just wanted to see if it would actually give me XP. Cool. Don't want to use up mana septic. Probably gonna need it. Scar. Scarf doesn't have any actual stats, right? And maybe it can be upgraded in this, though. Oh, it costs money? Fuck you. Now, if I knew that was in the game, I might, uh, remove that mod I got to skip those. I'll have to do that whenever I stop for a while. Oh, I'm getting hungry and thirsty. It's not good. Set to check and make sure they don't all uh, have anything special. A little foggy out here today, huh? So I guess that's a it for now. Oh no, I haven't checked out the new crafting stuff on the vanilla shit. Like that shoulder bag. Cool. Hell yeah. I am the male lady. Hmm, wonder what that's about. I wouldn't mind that. I do not know what any of that shit is. I'm assuming to get Ballistic Weave a different way than going through the railroad in this. Alright, not gonna update that stuff because I'm gonna get better stuff to wear off the first thing I fight, basically. Might, however, upgrade my gun with some of those adhesives. I don't know exactly how the gun works in this. Oh, I must be in a bad spot. Damn, <laughs> shovel. Actually, might want to bring that shovel with me since I got such a lack in ammo. See, I don't know, uh,. Damaged, deteriorated, degraded. I don't. I don't know which quality is what. I do know this is the thing that has the most kick to it. That might be the ammo typing, though. Yeah, it is. 
is the ammo typing. And the human specifically says that the ammo is what does the damage there. I don't recall damage being separate from the bullet damage. That's interesting. <laughs> how much I'm bashing shit. Oh, the damage might be for that pistol whipping. Ah. So this is better than the shovel for pistol whipping. This is my melee weapon. Well, this should have a higher DPS than this in theory. It's got a higher damage and a higher fire rate. So why is it so much less? Shit. Just occurred to me. Alright, so then miss out. So this can all get shredded. Don't scrap now, wait till I have the perks. For now I just throw it in. Make sure I get it now. Shit, don't upgrade. Wow. Doubles the range. Could, uh... Ah, need a sniper skill. Can't zoom until you learn how to be a sniper. Uh, what haven't I checked yet? Chemistry and cooking.
So slow trickle of health is all you get now. Oh yeah, I read that poison's uh more brutal but not as fast acting. It's a slow poison that really fucks you up. But over time. I don't even have that weapon, so what's that matter? So the main thing I need is adhesives, of course. Hopefully I can at least make some basic food. things I have on that other crafting thing. So nothing I currently have can be cooked. I can half make one bug on a stick. Nice. Alright, well, I looked through all the things, right? Oh, all this. Neat. Well, that doesn't sound very efficient. I guess if you got just a ton of shit you just want to get rid of without spamming. Then you gotta spam to put it in there in the first place. In that time you might as well be spamming scrap. Need to assign someone to this. Can't scrap that one, I guess. Hmm. Nothing that gives crystal here. And when I was looking through the crafting, it looked like it was just tools I really need to worry about saving. Um, I scrapped that one screwdriver, I think that's it. I might have missed something else in there. Spamming my way through. Well, build up a house and then I'll spam a bunch of guard posts for EXP. So 
So same prefabs for those. What is with that ship? I mean, this is from Far Harbor or something? I don't recall those being around in Far Harbor. I'm interested in one of these big ass buildings when I can't see what it even looks like. Yeah, like this. Uh -huh, I don't even know how to get up there. Hmm. Interesting. Make some mousetrap shit.
so I can snap it the weird way. Why do you hate me? Beautiful. Oh, good. Can't even fit a door in the slot. Aw, oh, I saw you snap, you little fuck. a bit ramshackle, but whatever. I think being under cover is all that the uh, things require. Hopefully under anything and not specifically a roof.
and just build a shitload of wood platforms to get my EXP. Why can I not get through here? Good that I have uh, something for that door to go out to now. Just occurred to me that I'm using a more expensive thing that gives the same amount of EXP. Although it can give you more stuff before it hits the build limit, so there's an upside too, I guess.
forgot about moving those plants over. Uh, I don't want to jump down and hurt myself. Now that I've disoriented myself and forgot about where those things are already. Right. Huh, I guess those aren't root fruits. But those are out there somewhere. And I do need to move them. Double check that that's not them. I guess I just told it to build everything. Oh, hey. The thing popped up without me even uh, having people here to build it. Maybe that wasn't part of the Sims thing then.
I'm putting a lot of thought into what I'm building, clearly. I wish I didn't uh, just get through that thing, because it's probably explaining to me a little bit about how leveling up works in Horizon. Uh, I'm going to have to go back and look at this video and freeze frame it there before I do my next thing. Get my bearings now and then make sure I'm not wandering into death. Uh, you may notice, uh, I've only gained one level doing all this. I think in vanilla I'd have at least a few. EXP is also supposed to be slower in Horizon. Like, where you'd normally be level 60, you'll only be level 30.
thought I heard something. Oh, just my imagination. And then a death claw came, and I died. I don't think my EXP is even going up. I guess it is just so slight. Oh, hey, I'm out of wood. So close. All right. So I'm going to heal up, go to sleep, and then, uh, Figure out how the leveling up works in this.
Great, my food varies from high risk of illness to very high risk of illness. I guess these wild things that have a shitload of rads still are probably my best bet. I don't think they have much uh, food weight. So I think foods have different amounts they feed you. I'm gonna Google real quick to see about food and survival. Well, it looks like uh, there's not really a lot of uh, difference between what you eat besides the downside things. Yay! Two. Woo! Excuse me. Oh, good. I got parasites from that last one. Well, I'm not going to use the cure all illness thing for parasites because I think it just makes you hungrier. Actually, in this, it probably has some bonus effect. Oh, reduces your poison resist. Oh, huh. purified water does bonus. I didn't know that. Neat. Well, I guess I'm going to sleep in this personable, personal comfortable cot. I feel like it's 10 instead of 8 in this. So, that's a good spot to end the video. Take a break, take a piss. Then I'll figure out what all these perk things are all about, eh? No, no illness! Yay! And I'm not hungry or thirsty? That's weird. I figure after 10 hours of sleep, I'd pee both again. Alright, cool. So I'm almost healthy-ish.